Hello and welcome to another video and another podcast episode on soundproofing. Today we're going to be talking about how to increase the isolation of your floor or your ceiling using a concrete slab on the floor, either your floor for your studio or the ceiling floor above you. Before we jump in, I wanna say that I have a free resource for you. That is my soundproofing workshop. If you are going down the YouTube rabbit hole of watching tons of soundproofing videos, then this workshop will help you focus your design, focus what you're trying to do with your home studio. So I highly recommend it if you are serious about creating a soundproof home recording studio. To watch that right away, you can go to soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, let's jump into this lesson on soundproofing a floor with concrete. So the first thing we wanna talk about is the soundproof ceiling design that I recommend that I used in my studio. And we're gonna talk about this first because it'll help you understand what, how the concrete floor above your ceiling will fit into all of this and how you could also increase the floor of your recording studio by beefing up the ceiling below you. So this is the confusing part about soundproofing is when you're dealing with a ceiling and a floor, it can be the exact same thing depending on which room your studio is in. But the basic design behind our soundproof ceiling that works really well is to use a hat channel or resilient channel system. And this is what I did in my studio. You can see here that we are hanging two layers of 5 8 inch drywall with green glue in the middle onto the ceiling of my studio using what are known as hat channels. And they also have the name furring channel. So we used hat channels with special IB1 isolation clips screwed into the studs of our ceiling joists and this will reduce the amount of sound that can pass from the outside or the floor above into your studio. So it's a great system for isolation, but one thing that it lacks is that it doesn't necessarily give you the best isolation if you don't have a ton of mass on the floor above where you're building your soundproof ceiling. So now that we've talked a little bit about this design with the hat channels and how that works, let's look at what happens if you add a layer of concrete on top of the floor above you while also using this hat channel system. Now, if we go back to the essence of soundproofing, some of the pillars of how soundproofing works, we know that mass is one of the crucial elements when you are soundproofing a room. So by adding concrete, we are adding mass, and this is gonna be extremely helpful with reducing especially low frequencies that could pass from the floor above down into your studio or vice versa from the floor below you up into your studio. So this design is one that I actually got from the Master Handbook of Acoustics, the sixth edition, by F. Alton Everest and Robert C. Pullman. This book is super intense and usually uh, reads like a college level textbook, but it does have a few sections on soundproofing that are kind of interesting. So I don't necessarily recommend going out and buying this book, but if you wanna reference it, you can. So they recommend using a one and a half inch layer of troweled on cellular concrete with a density of at least 105 to 120 pounds per cubic foot. Now it's kind of complicated, but you can look up companies that install cellular concrete floors, and you can also do it yourself with a little bit of research. But this is just what was recommended so we can use the graphs and compare the differences in the STC ratings when we have this. I will say as a side note that Roger Weiss, who wrote uh, one of the soundproofing Bibles called Home Recording Studio Build It Like the Pros, he recommends a similar model of doing using gypsum concrete, which is self-leveling gypsum concrete, uh, and he recommends using a one-inch layer of that. Uh, but for this video, we're gonna focus on the Master Handbook of Acoustics one and a half inch concrete because that will work with all the diagrams that I'm about to show you. So now that we know that we're adding this layer of concrete on the floor above our studio, or this could also be a layer of concrete on your actual studio floor, Next, we're gonna talk about the comparison of using concrete with the resilient channel design that I talked about earlier or without the resilient channel design. This may apply to you if you cannot access the 
room or the ceiling below your floor. For example, if you're in an apartment and you want your studio to have this concrete floor on top to add some mass and weight, but you can't get underneath, this might apply to you because you won't be able to beef up the ceiling below your floor. However, if you own both the bottom and the top floor, say it's like you're building a studio in the second floor of a house or in the basement of a house, and you can do some work on the top floor and the ceiling below, then you can see how the benefit is with adding that resilient channel. So let's look at this graph from the Master Handbook of Acoustics. This is from page 350, and it is figure 17-29. All right, so we can see by this graph here that the resilient channel and the concrete performs much better across the frequency spectrum than just laying the concrete and not having an, any insulation below or the resilient channel and the 5 8 inch gypsum board. For this reason, it's easy to see that adding that resilient channel underneath your floor or on your ceiling is a great idea when soundproofing. Without it, if you just simply have a normal deck without any insulation in the middle, then you're going to lose a lot of sound isolation. However, if you're in a position like I mentioned earlier where you can't fix the ceiling underneath your floor, no worries, adding the concrete will still help you versus having no concrete at all. Now, let's look at another graph that will show you the comparison between having the concrete and the resilient channel versus having no concrete, but still having a resilient channel design on the ceiling below the floor. In this graph that we can see from the Master Handbook of Acoustics, this is on page 351 and it's figure 17-30, we can see that the concrete layer adds a 10 decibels of isolation reduction in the low frequencies, you get 15 decibels of isolation at 500 hertz and upwards of 20 decibels of more isolation at 2000 hertz and above. So the concrete is doing a much better job than having no concrete whatsoever over the entire frequency spectrum. For this reason, adding weight to the floor above your resilient channel ceiling is always a good idea if you need more isolation, especially in the low frequencies. Concrete and mass in general will help mostly with reducing low frequency transmission from kick drums and subwoofer bass and bass guitar. So in conclusion, we can see that adding a one and a half inch layer of cellular concrete on the floor above your studio or the floor of your studio will greatly enhance the soundproofing and the sound transmission loss across the frequency spectrum compared to not having any concrete on the floor. We also noticed that having a resilient channel system with insulation in between the floor and the ceiling below will also increase your sound isolation by a large amount. A combination of the concrete and the hat channel system is ideal and will give you the greatest amount of isolation. We also learned that this technique only really works if you have access to the top floor where you can add concrete. And it works best if you have access to both the top and the bottom floor of your design so that you can maximize the amount of isolation from both sides. Lastly, it's important to recognize that adding weight to your existing structure always means that you are adding stress to what the building or the house was built for. This means it's highly, highly recommended that you reach out to a structural engineer just to make sure that the added weight of your concrete on your floor will not buckle your floor over time and cause stress that could lead to catastrophic failure. So definitely an important part of the process is making sure that you can add that weight of concrete to your floor. All right. I know this was a slightly technical video and somewhat complicated, but I hope it shows you that adding mass to the floor above using some form of concrete, whether it's gypsum self-leveling concrete or cellular concrete, will enhance your soundproofing and especially help with the low frequency transmission loss. If you have found this video helpful, or if you're listening on our podcast, definitely check out the free soundproofing workshop that I have. This will help you with planning out your entire studio build and make sure that you have the right design for your soundproof studio. You can reach that and watch it right away at soundproofyourstudio.com workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com 
slash workshop. I look forward to seeing you in the workshop and seeing you again here soon on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching or listening, and I will see you all next week. Thank you.